Hello everyone. Today, uh, I am going to show you how to put your assets inside uh, Unity, and then uh, use uh, different like uh, 2D sprites uh, to create your environment. Okay, so let's see what's the outcome. Okay, so you can see um, wall first. It's the inner wall. Basically, all my tutorials right now is following the uh, tutorial in unity so if you want to check the original tutorial you can uh, go to unity website and take a look about uh, the tutorial it's called 2d rock like tutorial yeah okay so uh, the wall one basically is the inner wall so you see like uh, we will uh, i will show you how to put all the uh, components inside this uh, 2d sprites and we have food okay basic our uh, basically our food is um is potatoes okay so we we will have potatoes potatoes is here okay so yeah so i will show you like a, a step by step okay so let's see okay so that let me show you okay let's delete and let's start it okay first create an empty game object empty by the way i upgrade to the uh the newest version for the unity is the um uh the most recent one so uh they are a little bit different from the previous version uh the prefab you can base uh it's uh, really different you can over choose whether you want to override it or you can uh, kind of like a make a new original one so I choose to do the make the new original one because I just get used to the old version of it so yeah we can take a look okay so first we create floor okay first we create a floor you see like before when you create something it's not like this I, I haven't seen any gray box but right now everything it's a little different from before yeah okay so floor and then we create first we create sprite render okay so sprite render okay so floor as for tag we don't need to take anything and layer because we have we we before we add a blocking layer but right now we don't need any blocking layers okay so uh as for sprite renderer uh we go here sprite renderer and floor we choose the the floor sprite sheet that we need yeah previous we made uh in s sprites okay so um we put the first one first floor and then <clears throat> as for sorting there before we created floor items and units what's the difference of the three as for ui system a uh, unity if you uh put the bottom one will render on the first it's really different from like a uh, photoshop layers because uh when we do like photoshop or even in the hierarchy area and it's uh kind of like uh if you put something on top of something then the top layer shows in the first but um as for sprite renderer or anything um ui related it's like uh, anything under it's the um well show on top of the topper layer yeah so we need to keep in mind that so sorting there it helps us to kind of sort all the layers inside 2 these 2d games so uh we are going to use like uh, the the bottom layer which is the top is one right so we click floor as our uh, sorting layer so make sure all the floor can lay out nicely on the bottom of the game okay so this is our floor and then yeah so we just create our first sprite environment okay so that's this is one and then we drag it to here so we make a prefab and it becomes um blue yeah it's it, it, it it's it, it's not the usual version or the previous version so i would feel like wow it's really different i thought like oh i i didn't click the 
the the check bar here like oh I, I make it disappear but it's not yeah it's the newest version okay so floor and then floor okay so sorry uh, I need to name it okay let's do it delete it okay so let's do it again okay okay so floor one okay Floor one as sprite renderer go to the oh it's not material it's the sprite okay first one okay so this one and then go to the sorting layer floor okay that's our floor one okay remember okay so that's drag into the prefab so that's first and second one since our uh, floor we have eight floor sprites so uh, we are going to use the same uh, set settings and to create eight floors so this let's make it two floor two okay let's change the sprite art make it two okay so yeah we just made it and then we drag to prefab oh yeah so this is really different um basically i like the first check box the second one it seems like a, uh you can override it but you can uh keep the original something like that so i mean um and there's there's a really weird icon happens to be there so i just want to be safe just do this so you can get the uh, previous effect later on if I figure it out then I will try to override or make some variation about it but I just just keep safe yeah just do the first checkbox okay so this is the floor uh, second then let's do the floor third this number three and then So that's this is number three. Okay, make sure you hit enter. Okay. Okay. So let's do it. Number four. Okay. Number four. Number five. Okay. It's number four. Okay. Number four. Yes. And number five. Number six. Number seven. It's kind of the same thing. You just change the name and change the sprites because the setting is the same. So we can just kind of doing this and change so we can create different prefab ew, 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 ew. wait oh I think I drank the wrong one sorry so let's delete this dude and then uh, ooh what happened see now I'm a little scared of the new version <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it becomes red. Okay, that's why. No worries. Okay, so before I drag the enemy, so it becomes acting weird. The new version, yeah, the new one. Add a lot of fancy functions and scares me. Okay, so. Okay, then eight. Okay, so we finished the uh, uh, 2D sprites for the uh, floor. Now we are going to create our exit. Okay, so exit. What's the difference between exit and floors? Floors first exit will be on top of the floor, right? And then we will add like a Floor, we will floor is like kind of like a mapping. Like, oh, this is the definition and the mapping. 
and then uh, exit. Well, we will put on top of the floor sprite. So, uh, as for exit, we are going to have a trigger box collider. So basically, what trigger do will do is that if the uh, player go to the uh, kind of like trigger the uh, exit sprite, then we will go to the next uh, event. Yeah, basically it's like that. So the collider, there are two functions for collider. One is for collision. Second one is for uh, trigger. So th in this case, we are going to use the trigger function. Okay, so let's rename it to exit. Okay, so the tag, we are going to tag the exit to exit. Okay, and then we are not going to block uh, the player. We just want to trigger it. So yeah, and then we go here and exit. Okay, this is our exit. And then uh, we go here, sorting layers. Okay, so units will be on the topest one, which is our enemy and our uh, grooming boy, which is our character, main character. So those two will be on the units. And items will be something above the floor, which is our uh, kind of like our beer and our uh, potatoes and our inner walls and our exit. So uh, we are going to select our exit to the item layer. Okay, so double make sure everything's right. Okay, let's drag exit to our prefab. Okay, the third one we are going to do is our food, which is first we are going to do our potato. Okay, our potato. Then, as for this, we uh, pre uh, previous video, uh, we added a uh, potato layer uh, tag. So we add potato, and uh, since potato. Uh, basically, the player will pick up the potatoes along the way, so we are not going to block uh, the player or block the enemy. So uh, the layer is default. Okay. Then we find potato. Yeah, potato. It looks like a uh, Popeyes. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. We add this, and then sorting there is items. Yeah, it's trigger. Yeah, because when you pick up, for example, like a potato, you gain like a five points of your health or something. Yeah. So later on, this is a trigger. We are not going to block any of our player or enemy. So yeah. So this is our settings for potato. Let's drag to prefab. And then, okay, BM. Yeah, I think it's really cool to eat potatoes and drink beers on Mars. And I think that's an amazing set. And this will be, yeah, amazing gameplay. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go here and change to beers. Previously, I spent a lot of time enjoying those assets. Right now, we are using it. Okay, so uh, sorting there is still items, right? And then trigger because um, if the this is the pick up items, if if the player enters here and we are going to add points, so this is trigger, not blocking. So we need to check that it's trigger. Okay, okay. So this is our beer. Then we are going to um, oh. Sorry, now we need to tag a beer. Yeah, okay. Override. Yeah, okay. So I just override it. So let's let, let's see whether it overrides it. Okay, double make sure. Okay, beer, right? Okay, so the tag is beer. Okay, yeah. There are a lot of like a little uh uh text we need to make sure it's all right so yeah sometimes we need to double make sure yeah okay so right now we are going to do the double uh yeah maybe we just put the beer here okay so the next one we are going to do is how outer wall one okay so this is outer wall one 
basically, when I designed it, I didn't really separate what's outer wall, what's inner wall. So uh, I just select whatever I had. Yeah. Okay. So this is outer wall, right? Okay. Uh, and outer wall because basically outer wall is to prevent player and enemy going outside of the game. So we. As for its trigger, we need to take out. We need to make sure the collider has the collision. So we need to take out the trigger. Okay. So make sure it's floor on the mo the bottom layer because we are not going to put outer wall on top of the floor. Actually, they are in the same layer. Okay. So um, this is not beer. This is out. Outer wall one. Okay, and then uh, we don't need to take anything. Yeah, I don't know why. It's okay, sure. I hit enter. Okay, and lock it down. And yeah, we need to change to blocking layer. Why? Because we are going to block player and enemy. So that's why. And then we have collision. And then we have the sprites. Okay, so this is outer wall one, outer wall two, hit enter, blocking layer, floor, uh, so collider, not uncheck is trigger. Okay. Oh, wait, uh, I, I forget to swap the sprites. Okay, so we change the sprites. Yeah, make sure it's different, like slightly different just for art. Okay, and then let's do the third one. Hit enter. Change it to another sprite. Okay. Floor. Oh. Mm. Use by effect. I don't think we need, right? Do we need that? I don't think we need, yeah, I just, sorry, I just, okay, so make sure everything's in check here, and uh, yeah, okay, so this is outer wall three, then we are going to do the inner wall, okay, inner wall, inner wall, we can have it called wall, wall one, we are going to have eight inner walls, so yeah, so that's, yeah, let's make it quick. Okay, so as for tag, we don't have tag anything, and in a wall, we are going to block the the, uh, the player as well. So we are going to choose another um, another one, and then in a wall, because basically in a wall is on top of the floor, so we need to choose something on top of it. It's it's in the same layer as food, as uh, potato as beer and as exit so we need to put uh yeah on top of floor so it's items okay so uh and uh, uh this is a collider we want a collision so yeah so this is the setting okay and then, okay so let's make more Wall two. Okay. Items, collision, blocking, yeah. Wall three. Yeah, items, collision. Wall four. Items and box slider collision. Okay. Wall five. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Enter. Okay. Items on top of the floor, and then nothing. Wall six. 
enter. Okay. Items. Wall 7. Hit enter. Items. Collision. Yay, the last one, wall 8. Enter. Items and collision. Okay, so this is wall 8. Okay, so basically this is our um, uh, new uh, prefabs. Okay, so uh, in next episode, we are going to show you how to uh, write some simple codes to uh, manage the game board, the whole environment. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.